So the goal of our panel will be to dig deeper uh, and build on the first panel of the day and look into the LLMs, the AI, from the more practical perspective of applications um, in this sector. One interesting anecdote before we start, you know, we look at the transcripts of these conferences in the past, and I don't know if you know how many times the words large language model, transformer, GPT were mentioned. Zero. So uh, uh, we really need to compensate uh, uh, for that. Uh, now, I wanted to start with uh, uh, Chris uh, from NVIDIA um, to help us put investment management space in context. So uh, let me put it this way. Do you see fund managers queuing up in those long queue to buy the GPUs from you? And uh, yeah, how does it fit with the other sectors? Yeah. Uh, so that's definitely not something that we've seen a ton of so far. Uh, you know, and I think that part of that is because there's still a huge amount of uncertainty around how it is that language models are going to be able to be used in the space. Uh, and everything that people have seen, you know, and we were just talking about issues of, of privacy and legal issues and, and all of that. Um, you know, I think that there's going to have to be a lot more clarity uh, that, that comes in either through, you know, new models that are built specifically around uh, you know, this particular use case or whether it's uh, large players like diving in and, and seeing like real results and real returns coming out of it. Uh, and I think that's gonna be the, the tipping point that allows a lot of other smaller players to come in and be like, okay, what's the unique angle that I can take on this? What is, can I use a different model? Can I use different data? So until we see that, I think that everybody's kind of sitting on the sidelines just sort of being like, uh, who's gonna who's gonna take the leap first, and then what is the like really concrete results that are gonna come out of that? Because we haven't seen a huge amount of interest so far. It's mostly been from startups, you know, as, as we discussed, that are looking at new types of models, looking at sort of quantitative models, things like that. Yeah, and out of curiosity, but in contrast, which which sectors are the top of your list in terms of buyers? Uh, healthcare is massive. Healthcare is actually the largest segment, at least in terms of startups. So I, I focus on the startup community inside of NVIDIA. Uh, and healthcare is far and away our biggest area because it can encompass a whole variety of things from... Uh, you know, older technologies, I mean, older comparatively, like uh, computer vision and, and medical image analysis uh, and newer technologies like genomics and, you know, being able to use generative models for protein folding and being able to use generative models uh, built around medical language. So that's been a huge area for us. Robotics is also large, but uh, that's more that's more around like simulation, uh, but from a, a language models perspective, healthcare and then media. So everything that we saw around uh, you know, mid journey instability and all that, which kind of shook the, the, the terrified, frankly, the, the media space, uh, or at least the executive level in the media space, uh, have been the, the biggest adopters, I think, and the quickest adopters.